Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Improv Gaming. In this episode, we are talking about... Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. <laughs> Sony! Coming to market with a handheld. I don't know if you were sneezing there or coughing for a second. You're like... <gasps> Sony. It was a dramatic pause, but it, it did not. It was not. It was special. very dramatic. Yeah, it was terribly dramatic. I was worried for your <laughs> wife right there. Uh, yeah, th- today we're talking about uh, Sony and whether or not they're going to come to market with another handheld. Now, the rumor mill is, I don't know if you know this, Pete. Enlighten me. So Sony has a patent Ooh. out. Um, they've had a patent, I believe it's been since September 16, 2016. Uh I believe I could be mistaken on that. If I'm wrong, you can always feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, but they've had a patent out for a very long time on a handheld device that looked very similar to the Switch. Ooh. Very similar to the Switch. Um, long before the Switch was released, right? We all had this other device that or we were looking announced. at. Uh, or even yeah, well, announced. It was, or, the, it was still it, the it NX was, time. Yeah, it was still NX time, right? There's still rumor mill going on. But Sony had released, a, uh, had opened up a patent on on a device that looked very similar mm-hmm. to the Switch that we received, not the NX that we thought we were getting. Um, and on top of that, um, don't know the name, don't remember the name. I can't, I can't for the life of me remember the name. But during an interview, one of the members of Square Enix, uh, this was in Japanese, uh, was talking about uh, future releases and was very much looking forward to like releasing something on the PlayStation 4 Pro, very f- looking forward to releasing something on the Project Scorpio, but had made mention of two other consoles that were coming in the future. Um, one of them being, and, I, and this one, this part is a quote, PSP3 and another oh. console. So basically the, the, the premise was PSP3 and another console. So PSP3, okay. obviously, as you know, PSP was the first one, PlayStation Portable. That was the first one. That was the one with the UME, UMD discs that we popped in. We have like seven iterations of that, right? We have the one that everybody got, that most people got. We have the, a smaller one that had two joysticks and then one that looked like a phone that's... That, Whatever. Okay. <laughs> We're past it. <laughs> um, we moved on to the Vita. We moved on to the Vita after that, uh, which wasn't as phenomenal a success as it should have been. Yep. I very much feel like it was a very strong console. It should have been able to blow things out of the park. But I think 100%. one thing that, that really led to the downfall of the Vita, and I'm going to say this out loud and outright for everybody to understand, was that the Vita was being sold through mobile distributors. It was being sold through like AT&T. Yep. And stuff like that. And it was like, well, is this a mobile device or is it a video game console? I think that was a misstep. Yep. And the idea was that Nintendo wanted you to always be... I mean, not Nintendo, I'm sorry. PlayStation sorry. wanted you to always be connected to in order to really fully enjoy the Vita. Um, now, as I played the Vita and I got more used to it, I realized why it was. But my big question is, with the success of the Switch, with everything that's going on here, do you think Nintendo or uh, PlayStation is going to come to market with a with a handheld. And do you think that they're going to do it better than the Switch? Big questions. I know. Big questions. Big questions. Big questions. Let's no? start with the uh, first. Uh, will Sony come with a handheld? Uh, yes. Yes. Sony, uh, the one thing with Sony, I have to say, is they do not like anybody owning one thing. So if Nintendo's coming out with a new handheld, you bet your ass. I kind of want to say they don't like Nintendo owning one thing. I, I want to say that. Yeah, but it's something similar to... They came out with the PSP to go against, you know, the DS at the time. Then they came out with uh, the 3DS, and their response was the Vita. Excuse me. That was nice. very reminding. Very nice. Um, so they came... So now that the Switch is this hybrid... And like I said, I've been playing Zelda both handheld and docked. Mm-hmm. Both ways. 50-50 at the moment. Um it would be foolish for Sony to be like, no, you get all the handhelds. No, Sony's crafty ass motherfuckers, and they want to do what they tried to do with the Vita, which was basically remote play. There's some times where I was playing Ghost Recon Wildlands, and I would put it on my Vita to go upstairs and just play. Yeah, there's that little bit of delay because obviously you're still working on it. Uh, the Vita came out 2013. I mm-hmm. mean, you're still working with that kind of tech, and it was, it came out with the PlayStation 3, but the PlayStation 4 wasn't mine for the Vita. You could tell, mm-hmm. you know. So it was a great start. So if Sony can build on that, piggybacking off your second question, they can easily outdo Nintendo. Just for the fact is 
there will be so many third parties that will be. Well, that's with what them. I was going to get into there. Was like, was if you can do the same thing that the Nintendo did, which is like a full blown console that goes portable, mm-hmm. which is essentially what Nintendo did, um, then suddenly all your titles become portable, right? Everything. And I feel like Sony would have the mindset, right? And, I, and this isn't a knock on Nintendo because, again, I really do enjoy the Switch and I'm having fun with the Switch. But I really feel like Nintendo wouldn't, or, or PlayStation wouldn't just put this plastic base there. I feel like that would be an expansion base. Mm. It would be a base that you plug your, your, your PlayStation Portable into and suddenly, instead of it being 720 when it's portable, suddenly that upscales everything. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So this little handheld device can handle 720, but there's also a processing unit in there, and click it in, and right. suddenly it turns into something else. Yeah. Right. And it'd be funny if it just said, "Let's play" every time you clicked the little handles in. <laughs> I don't know what sound effect you would use, man. <laughs> Sony, just <laughs> Sony, 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 Sony. <laughs> no, but I mean, um, it's Sony's not crazy to do a handheld, and especially with the success right now with the Nintendo Switch. And the thing is, you know, you might actually be able to find this console out in the wild. Just saying. Yeah, that's the other. Well, I mean, with the with the with the with the the headset, it shows that Sony has its own uh, demand issues. Yeah, as but well. they, they, I've seen more headsets now in the last couple of months. So that's true, granted, but that, the time period is about the same, right? It took about two three months for you to finally get that. Yeah. Now we're at second month of Nintendo. And the, the history tells us it's going to be six months until we get another Switch out in the wild. Or, you know, we get full, mm-hmm. full, full availability on the Switch. But Sony was two, three, four months maybe. You know, so about that t- same time frame of, like, there was a high demand for it and, and they couldn't keep the shelves full. And then suddenly, it, the, now that the Switch is out, nobody's buying yeah. the fucking headset. Well, you know, I was on the show and we did a topic on it a couple of months ago. You could check that out here on the channel. Uh, we did VR versus the, the Switch and what you should buy. And, like, resoundingly, it was the Switch just because it was this amazing idea of I can, go, I can game on the go with these great games. The VR, you know, and it sucks is there's no support. Uh, speaking back and also of Tuesday's episode, the only thing Sony really has to do to, for the conference is show VR support. Yeah. And that's, that's really Sony's biggest thing yeah. that they have to bring. Besides that, they've had an amazing last couple of conferences. Yeah, yeah. So that's a little tease from Tuesday's episode. You so I think, I think, I think... Um, I think that there's, to, to answer my own question, I think Sony has, I, I, I believe I even said it when the NX was announced, when, when they first X announced it, it to you. as NX, and I was like, well, if Nintendo comes to market with a handheld that, that is a full console, then you better believe that Sony's coming to yeah. market with a handheld, because that's, that's what they've always said that they were going to do. That was the point of the PSP. Originally, it was so that then you could play your PlayStation 3 on the go. And, you know, and the Vita, the point was, we're going to make it better. We're going to do it better this time. You know, like the whole, the whole, the whole idea behind these handhelds was to be an alternative experience to your gaming experience. Um, and if Nintendo Switch beat them to it, then PlayStation's going to come fucking yeah. with something so, major. Uh, Sony has the support. Of the third they, parties. And that's the other part. They have the support of the third parties. The third parties are all behind them. And if they do it, if they do it, if they announce it at E3, I think that's going to kill Switch. Mm, I can see that. I think that'll kill Switch. Um, if they don't, then Switch has some life in them. But again, Nintendo on. has to come in with a strong E3. Sounds like a good topic from Tuesday's episode. I think that that's a good topic that we covered on Tuesday's episode. You might no. want to check that out. Uh, but no... Uh, in closing statements, I think, with this topic is um, Sony's crazy enough to do a handheld. They can afford to do a handheld. And, you know, it's something where you have the third parties, like I said, and they can put a couple first parties on there, you know. I'm not expecting the Naughty Dogs or now even um, the... Spider-Man? Insomnia. Or not, uh, and I'm trying to... Th- uh, Horizon, uh, Gorilla. I don't expect now Gorilla Games to do that. But I expect, like, maybe, you know, and... <laughs> Santa Monica might do it. Santa Monica might throw something in. You, I could also see Sucker Punch. Yeah. Sucker Punch has been very quiet lately. Yeah, that's true. It would be cool to say, yeah, Sucker Punch, here's our game, and it can go on the go. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Sucker Punch hasn't said anything. There, there's a, and, you know, yeah, you have dreams, but you can also have these little projects. Santa Monica was putting out, you know, they had a relations with some of these developers that were putting out these games, but it's like, oh, you know, Santa Monica's here, so... You attach a big fucking name to it, you know, 
It's the same thing with Bethesda. You know, you have Bethesda's name with our, uh, Arcane Studios. It instantly makes it bigger, you know? Oh, yeah. Bethesda, guys, besides Elder Scrolls and Fallout, you know? It's like, oh, Prey? Oh, boost Prey up 100%. If not, it would have been like last year, or uh, excuse me, uh, 2007 or whenever when the first Prey came out and nobody gave a shit and yeah. it was terrible. Yeah, you yeah. know, Arcane, uh, Arcane oh, the Studios. the first Prey reboot, you mean, or Prey 2 you're talking about? No, 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 just uh, the original Prey oh, okay, like okay, before okay. this reboot, you know, and they uh, the original Prey came out and nobody gave a shit. But now that Arcane Studios just showed with Dishonored, Dishonored 2 and you had that Bethesda being like, hey, remember, we're the guys behind Fallout 3, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. These games that blew up in the last five years, you yeah. know? If Sony could do that, it's like, even if it's like, hey, we have a couple of these new developers in, a, in association with, you know, Sucker Punch, in association with Santa Monica, in association with, fuck, Naughty Dog, you know? Hey, Naughty Dog t- gave us our engine and they were overlooking because they are the masters of storytelling. So this is a story-driven game you can take on the go, you know? Yeah, yeah. They, could, they have so many ideas and uh, things they can do. I think, I think Sony has a lot, a lot of resources available to them. Um, that that um, Nintendo might have woken a sleeping giant if mm-hmm. if if Sony does come to market or comes to announcement at the very least of a handheld system on the go. And the thing that can save Nintendo was always those Nindies, you know, yeah. those little small compatible games. But you know, the Vita. I don't know if they can do it now. The Vita was a killer for these smaller games. I played Shovel Knight on. I played Thomas Was Alone. These great indie games that you know would be lost on a. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, because you're playing the Uncharted, the Kill Zones, the Horizons. But you have this little Vita, which, yeah, you have Persona 4 Golden. Yeah, you have, you know, Golden Abyss Uncharted. But then you have these smaller indie games that fucking thrive on this system. Yep. Yep. So if Sony can do that with this new console, if it's a thing, that could really deem trouble for Nintendo because Nintendo may have these Nindies, but how far is it really going to get you? Yeah, yeah. Without without that, that third-party AAA support. How far is it really going to get you? Because that's why Sony, I think, can accomplish the the, the task. I re- because they have that support of the third party triple A, right? Triple A being the key word in there. Mm-hmm. Right on. And I think in close, it's we we say this. I feel every year, like it, games coming out, but this E three is a big year for games, and and definitely and I think, definitely I, think, I don't systems. know if it's a big year for games, but it's definitely going to tell us a lot about where the industry is going yeah. from here. Right, like there's a lot of there's a lot more questions going into this E3 than there have been, I feel, in mm-hmm. previous E3s. You know, like That's everybody, how it shows everybody is quiet. You know, even Sony is kind of quiet. So it's like, what's going on? What's cooking out? Yeah, there? what's cooking out there in the industry? I mean, it might you know be like, hey, we we made a PC. Ah, oh, fuck, we're all PC <laughs> gamers now. Shit. Never, you know, but it, it could be very much like that. Anyway, I think that wraps us up today. It's good because, like I said, this is E3 week, so that, that was a nice way to end E3. Remember, our predictions are coming up. I'm very predictions excited. Predictions are coming up. I can't wait. Stay tuned. You'll I see I can't that. wait to get my half a point because I was right about the month. <laughs> it comes out in October. Pete, it's October 1st. Still counts. Half a point. <laughs> if you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Ladies and gentlemen, I am always joined by the host with the most, Mr. I'm wondering himself, with the Kango cap in tow, it's Mr. Peter Anderson. As I live and breathe. As he lives and breathes. <laughs> <laughs> There's the S. And I'm always joined with the host with the toast. I don't even know what that means. He only has the best ponytail in the business. It's fabulous. He only does everything. It's okay. It's all right. It's not bad. Mr. Nicholas de Jesus. <laughs> How's it going tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Again, we're improv gaming to you. Uh, we are improv gaming. We come to you every Tuesdays and Thursdays. We also come to you live on Sundays uh, on Facebook, Twitch, and uh, YouTube. Um, 6 p.m. Eastern 6 Standard Time. Eastern Time. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern time, whatever, 6 p.m. on the eastern border. Uh, <laughs> we do top news stories a week, top of the show, and new releases. And then our Tuesday and Thursdays are a little bit more bite-sized, little, little, bite chunks, size, little chunks, 10 to 15 minutes. Exactly. Exactly. As always, ladies and gentlemen, game, game on. on.